Okay, so you're in a state of a bit of confusion right now, not knowing what to do, really. Uh, it seems like you've learned a lot of lessons from the experiences that you had. You might be even taking on some kind of mentoring, teaching role as well uh, with the lesson card over here. But you are trying to make up your mind about something and you really don't know what to do next. And, you know, you're feeling very vulnerable. Uh, you know, you're feeling um, as though you're very exposed right now um, because you really are not quite sure what to do. Uh, so there's some kind of big decision that you need to make and you really haven't got a clue about what to do next. So in the past, you've got the fame card. So there's been something that you've done that has gained a lot of recognition. And, you know, it's improved your reputation for sure. And you've been dealing with dark haired woman. She might have been presenting some kind of obstacle, some kind of barrier. So somebody preventing you from going forward or making uh, plans or trying to, uh, you know, reach your future goals. She's almost somebody that stands in your way. So going into the future, you've got the growth card over here. So, you know, you are putting down very firm foundations, very firm roots, and you are getting along on your path. And there doesn't seem to be any obstacles. And whatever you're doing, um, you know, is very, very, uh, it's going to bring a lot of results for the future. There's going to be a lot of growth. You can see these trees here are very tall, very big. So very firm foundations. Maybe you're uh, working in a very established company as well, but you're getting along and you're moving on and there's, uh, you know, there's not much in your way over there. Um, and you've got the communication card over here. So you might be, uh, you know, communicating with a lot of people. Uh, there might be a lot of collaboration going on, a lot of international communication that you're involved in as well with this particular job that you're doing. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So you've got the Ace of Rods over here and it looks like there's some kind of new opportunity coming in for you here so that you can establish yourself. Uh, you know, there's a lot of future prospects over here, some good um, things will come out of it eventually, some good growth and, you know, you'll be able to build yourself some firm foundations, you know, and it'll bring in a lot of money. You've got this big castle over here, right in the background over here. So, you know, you have got a vision in mind and this new prospect or this new opportunity looks like it's going to open the doors or the road for that so that you can achieve this eventually. Um, so this is being offered to you or this opportunity is being handed over to you. Um, so, you know, it's something that you really should accept. It's something that's going to open up a lot of doors for you. You. Now, what you're dealing with right now is the uh, Five of Pentacles, which is showing that you have gone through a lot of financial loss and a lot of problems. Uh, you know, money has been uh, really tight for you. Uh, you've had to manage your family life and this has been, um, you know, very taxing on you. You've got the King of Wands over here, so you might be dealing with a fire sign person, which would be uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person, uh, and this is a person that you're working for. Um, you know, they're very, very strong-willed, uh, you know, and they're... Um, <sighs> Very much somebody who tells you what to do. So a bit of a little, a little bit of a bully. Uh, here you've got that lion card. Somebody who doesn't really listen to uh, all your needs or doesn't uh, really um, listen to what you've got to say. Uh, but uh, you know, you've, it's somebody that you're working for. They're, you know, they're a, a really a hard task master, if you have to put it that way. And they're very much in charge. Um, so you could be dealing with this person here that you're working for. Uh, now, uh, you know, you do have people around you that are, uh, um, you know, supportive of you. You've got this couple in the back over here, somebody supporting the other person. So there are people around you that are supporting in your work, um, in your work field over here. Uh, but this person over here doesn't seem to listen to any kind of um, issues about things. He, he seems to be very, very, um, you know, uh, a very aggressive a uh, businessman kind of thing and somebody who, uh, you know, is not willing to listen to excuses from other people. So a very difficult person to work under. So what's happening with you? You have the Ten of Swords in the past. So you left a really difficult situation in the past. There might have been a work situation. Maybe you lost your job. Uh, it was something that, uh, you know, there was a lot of drama. Some kind of crisis happened over there and you could not stay in it any longer and you had to leave. You just... Uh, you know, you may have lost your job or you may have an, uh, you um, had to leave that particular position because of all the drama, of all the toxic people, of all the nastiness that happened in it and you had to walk away. That happened in the last year. So you ended that particular cycle and you were called to make that decision. You had to make a decision and make it very quickly. Um, 
And maybe you went back to doing something that you wanted to do. So something uh, you resurrect, resurrected something from the past. So an old job that you had to do, um, you know, you, you may have gone back to it um, and you've started something new. So you had reached the crossroads in your life and you had to make a decision and change the field uh, of study or change your, your, your career, change something in order for you to move forward. So it seems like you've made, you made that decision and you moved on. Um, so it looks like you did end that new, that old job because the Ten of Pentacles is about, uh, you know, work and it's also about ending of cycles. So it seems like you did end that particular work cycle. You may have gotten a payoff as well from it. So something did come off it. There was some financial payout that came from that particular job. Now you're being offered something new. You've got this uh, Four of Cups coming in over here, and that might involve a lot of travel as well, this new job. Maybe you're not even considering it, or maybe you don't even want it. Uh, but it seems like um, you maybe you're just satisfied being in the position you are, but it looks like this particular offer is coming in for you. It even might even be a offer for study. So um, that could be something that you should be considering. It's, it will open the doors for you and allow you more freedom. So you've got this justice card over here. So a decision being needing to be made. So this is a new a new job. You might need to be signing new contracts as well. And this might be going into partnership with somebody as well. Uh, this is also some kind of legal decision. Maybe that you're facing something coming on. Uh, maybe a very difficult legal decision uh, that is pending. And you're waiting for that to come through as well. Uh, and this is all going on behind the scenes. Uh, it seems like uh, you know you might be signing new contracts. There is something. Or you might be um, waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made. So maybe having finished off with this job over here, there might have been some kind of legalities that you had to deal with. And this could also be signing new contracts with the justice card. So you've got the four of wands over here. So this, this is celebration. So whatever you're getting, this new offer is going to be really good because these cards are sitting next to each other. It seems like whatever this new offer is going to be, of course, for celebration, it's going to allow you to put down roots. Uh, you're going to be working with somebody. So this is going into partnership. And even here, it looks like going into partnership with somebody. So it looks like there's a lot of celebration, uh, you know, after you... Uh, um, uh, accept this offer and it's going to allow you to lay uh, you know put down firm foundations build something that is going to be very very recognized by a lot of people and it's going to be something some kind of new job that deals with a lot of people so you'll be working with uh, a lot of uh, you know there'll be a lot of clients if you like in that particular field so you are worried about it um you know you're worried about the little uh, problems that are cropping up uh, you know, if you go into partnership with this person or if you start this new job, you, you can see here dealing with a big audience of people and maybe that scares you as well because in this particular job, it looks like you will be dealing with a lot of people. So maybe that is the thing that you are worried about. Now you do have all the tools because this is the magician card. You are starting something afresh over here and maybe this particular job involves communication as well because the magician is all about mercury mercury is about communication it's also about travel but you are worried about the little problems that are cropping up or the little obstacles that you will have to face uh you know you worry that you know this could be something that sabotages the whole thing so you know you're a bit anxious about that so going into the future, you've got the Strength card over there, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So the Strength card is taking control of the situation. Now, whatever problems that crop up here with this Magician card, you can see you being able to sort it out. And it looks like you have a lot of fame that comes in because you've got this big statue over there, you know, and it's on the top of the mountain. So you will be able to achieve the heights of success with this particular field. Now, just watch out for people around. You've got this little snake on the floor over here. So you are dealing with some toxic entities or some toxic people around you. Be aware of that and watch out who you trust. So people are appearing to be what they um, are not. So, you know, people with snake tongues, people um, promising you the world and not being able to deliver. But you will be able to cope with any kind of problem that you have that arises. And just be aware of people, uh, you know, sabotaging you.
Then you've got the Ten of Cups over here, so the end of difficult prob problems or difficulties that you've been facing, and it looks like you will be successful with whatever it is that is being offered for you, to you. So whatever this new job is that you take, you know, whatever obstacles that it presents, you will be able to overcome it, and there's success that comes in with it. And you've got that house over there, which is showing stability, security that comes with that particular job, and a lot of happiness that comes in for you with it. And there's a, the people that you work with, you know, you're going to enjoy working with them, and there's a lot of loyalty in, with these people that you're going to be working with. Now, uh, you may need to seek some advice. You've got this Queen of Wands over here, so there's somebody around you that you're going to go and ask for some advice from uh, in order to, um, you know, uh, move forward. This person might be somebody that you work with. Um, this person is, you know, in some kind of management position, but they're giving you some good advice, and they are showing you how to get this abundance. So this is advice well worth listening to in order for you to bring in that abundance or to bring in that new job or to be successful at what you do so this advice uh you know if there's somebody around you that can give it to you you do need to uh, accept it and this new offer that you do uh, if you accept this offer it's going to bring in a lot of celebration and it's going to bring in a lot of success so i'm just going to draw in some cards from the um fairy tarot You've got the Princess of Spring over here, which says it's time to go after your dreams, do something that expands your horizons, and let your creativity take flight. So you need to be optimistic and enthusiastic about this. It looks like this new offer that comes in is an opportunity now for you to expand out into the world and, uh, you know, move on. And there's going to be a lot of success that comes with this new opportunity. You've got the Empress card over here. So it is time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. So whatever this new op offer is, it's going to bring in that success with this Empress card. And it's going to bring in a life of luxury. So, you know, a lot of uh, security coming in for you as well. Because you do have that Ten of Cups over here. You can see there's a security, celebration, and, you know, uh, altogether getting rid of any kind of problems that you have been facing and then you've got the sign over here that says plans that work out perfectly amazing ideas that leads to rewards and commendations gratitude for the blessings in life so whatever this new opportunity is is going to bring in a lot of success there's going to be a lot of hard work of course and there's going to be a lot of obstacles that you're going to need to jump over or, or little hurdles that you are going to be facing but you have got that strength card over here and you can see eventually there is going to be a lot of recognition that comes with this particular job overcoming dragons over here and you will be able to sort it out because you have all the tools that you need to be able to conquer this particular scenario and it's going to be very successful with the sun card so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and don't forget to watch these energy remedy videos that i'm starting to put out um, thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye